Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today, as one of our quick start guides, we're focusing on the Bearded Collie. So you have a Bearded Collie, you've been out there in the world and you know that there are literally hundreds and hundreds of different shampoos and thousands of different brushes and tools that you could get for your Beardy. Where are we gonna start, right? So that's what we're here to do. This is not extensive. Remember, if you want more information, you can head on over to Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. We do have a drop coat course and we have lots of other courses that talk about different dog breeds and how you should groom them for the show ring, etc. But let's focus on the quick start guide. All right, so uh, beardies can be shown a lot of different ways, um, but the way we maintain their coats is like generally the same, right? So first of all, for bathing, um, I always like a tearless shampoo. Here's Happy Eyes. Whatever breed it is, do yourself a favor, just get a tearless shampoo, right? Then you don't have to worry about it. You can scrub their faces if they're dirty, all those good things, never a worry. For my younger beardies, I'm probably gonna use something like uh, Fair Advantage. It's shampoo and conditioner in one, so it's like a one and done kind of deal. I really like this. Um, it has good conditioning properties in it and it's just a good way to get some shampoo and you know some conditioning properties in your dog in one fell swoop. Now, for a beardy going through coat change, right? As they get a little bit older, sometimes between nine months and 18 months, they can go through a, season, a coat change as they change from puppy coat to adult coat. I'm probably gonna use something like Ice on Ice shampoo and conditioner. And I'm gonna use those because they have, you know, some slipping properties to them. They have detangling properties in them and they're just gonna help you get through that coat change just a little bit better. But probably my number one go-to shampoo for most bearded collies would be day-to-day. -day. So day-to-day -day shampoo and conditioner are made with colloidal oatmeal. And because that bearded collie coat is a little bit more porous and coarse, we wanna make sure we're getting that moisture in there, right? So we wanna make sure that that coat isn't getting dried out at all. So that's why I'm a big fan of like day-to-day -day shampoo and conditioner. Uh, something I don't have here would be white on white, right? You could use white on white or some kind of whitening shampoo for obviously the white parts of your beardy. Uh, one thing, if you have like a black or a blue beardy, you could use the white on white generally all over to kind of freshen up that blue color as well if you wanted. Um, so kind of that's our shampoo, right? So you're gonna bathe your beardy. If you're using the all-in-one, it's one and done. You know, you're gonna bathe it, condition it, rinse it out. Now you're going to make sure that you are drying it correctly, right? So most beardies, I don't use a velocity dryer on them at all. I only use a hot dryer. When I'm drying my beardy with a towel or my hands, I'm always using like the squeegee method from top to bottom never using the towel in a round method, right? I'm never roughing it up like, you know, we would like to do with our puppies because it's so much fun because that's just gonna create tangles already, right? They have that really long hair. So then for most of my beardy, I'm gonna use about a 27 millimeter pin brush and I'm just gonna be styling them dry with my hot dryer. Generally, you know, you wanna start at the top and work your way down, you know, from head to tail kind of thing. 27 millimeter pin brush, a pin brush has that straight pin, really, really important that you do this. Really, really important that you never ever use any other kind of brush on your beardy's tail, 100% for sure. So you can use a slicker brush here. We have the carbon slicker. Um, it has that 17 millimeter pin. Slicker brushes have a bent pin. You can use this on your beardy's legs. All of that undercarriage, right? All of that undercarriage you can use the slicker brush on. You could even use it like around the face very, very carefully under the chin um, and in the sanitary area, but do not ever use the slicker brush on the tail. Now for beardies, um, if I'm gonna comb them, I'm gonna use like a comb that has like wider tines and I'm just combing like the armpits out, all the legs and generally all over the body just to check your work. You're not using the comb to like demat them or detangling them, it's just to check to make sure that everything is in fact detangled, right? So that's kind of where we're going to stop, right? For like, how do we bath and dry our beardy, right? That is how we're doing it. But what, what am I gonna do like at the dog show or to get my dog ready for a dog show that's a little bit different than that, right? So a few things, right? First of all, you need some kind of brushing spray. You're never wanting to, um, 
brush a bearded collie or any dog with dry coat. That creates static electricity. The static electricity helps the coat snap off. If, you, if your dog has shorter coat than another dog, part of the reason could be that you're not using a brushing spray, right? Incorrect brushing technique, including not using a brushing spray. This is a great one made for drop coats called Precious Drops. Um, another one that adds a lot of moisture is Quench Leave-In, right? You can just use this every single day. So you can use this at home as maintenance, but to brush them out at the show, the, we're using one of these sprays to tame the flyaways, keep that coat nice, long, lean, looking the way you want it. And we know that bearded collies are supposed to be showing like natural, and um, but that doesn't mean ungroomed. Also, bearded collies really are trimmed at the dog show, right? They have a certain amount of trimming. We don't want that big hard underline, but we are definitely tidying up their feet. We don't want them to look like they have slippers. We're definitely taking the coat off the bottom, the pads of their feet so they're not slipping in the ring. So we understand that bearded collies are supposed to be shown in that natural state, but we're also here being realistic in the fact that beardies are in fact trimmed, but we generally are not trimming them with any kind of straight shear, right? Straight shear is going to leave a scissor mark. That's gonna make them look over groomed. This is where people, especially new people get into trouble. If I'm using a straight shear on my beardie, I'm gonna use it just to do the pads of the feet, right? Just to make sure that they're not slipping on that floor and the pads of their feet are taken care of. I might use a short straight shear, like maybe in a sanitary area just to keep them clean. Um, but at the show, if I have any trimming to do like around the feet to tidy them up, um, or just any hair that look is really long and out of place, I'm gonna do that with my thinning shear, right? My thinning shear is gonna leave that more natural look to it. And any line that looks too hard, I can go back in, in and either pull it with my fingers or just tidy it up with my thinning shear. If you're gonna chalk your beardy, you're going to need something to help hold that chalk in. So at the dog show, you're gonna use a little bit of cholesterol. You put like a quarter size amount in your hand, you emulsify it in your hand, put it through the coat, and then you're gonna add like baby powder or white ice chalk or something to just give it a little bit of body. Um, I also like to put a little bit of cholesterol through the head and over the eyes and style it dry back. So I'm gonna use my hot dryer, I'm gonna style it dry back with my brush to kind of take it off the brow a little bit. Now, depending on how much coat they have there and how you want your beardy presented, some people do present them a little more coiffed than other people. You might wanna go in there with like a back combing type comb. So instead of our wide tooth comb that we showed before, one that you can do a little bit of back combing maybe over top of each eye, right? We're gonna do a little bit of back and then maybe use something like thick and thicker aerosol. I like to spray it on my finger and just kind of, you know, I don't wanna spray it in their face and just kind of tap those areas back over the face so that my beardy is, um, can see and the judge can see them, right? So a lot of chalk, a lot of people do chalk their faces and will even chalk kind of the blaze between their eyes. You know, that's something that you're gonna have to learn and is a little bit more in depth than our quick start guide, right? Uh, last but not least, if you're noticing any kind of split ends or anything on your beardy, you could use an extra conditioner, again, not at the show, but between shows, something like Miracle Cream, put it in your hands, put it wherever you see split ends and that is going to help you out. So again, this isn't an extensive list, but I hope you can see like, this is where we would start right down here with a tier list and a two in one. This is my go-to shampoos for show and maintenance. Going through that coat change, some ice on ice. And you know, kind of whether you're showing or not, you need a really good pin brush and a really good slicker. Remembering we're never ever slickering the tail. All right. Um, I hope that that helped you decide how to start, where to start getting those products, making your collection for your bearded collie. Of course, everything is personal preference. Um, remember that this is part of our free tutorial Friday course at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. Head on over there and there's gonna be a downloadable list. So you don't have to like stop and write down what I'm saying. A downloadable list of everything for you over there and we invite you to check that out. And hey, if you don't have a bearded collie, but you would love one of these lists for your breed, just throw your breed in the comments before and we will do our best to get to it. I hope that helped. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought. And as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium and subscription content. And we'd love to have you join us there as well. 
don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.